Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is Gabriel Mark and I'm back and I have one question for you. How are you doing today? How are you? How do you feel like from the moment you open your eyes? How do you feel like you are doing right now? Pretty good? Not so bad? Fantastic? Uh, why does this kid have so much energy? Well, either way, I'm going to share with you seven easy morning tips that you can take to set yourself up for success. We are calling this video Morning Mastery, seven rituals to supercharge your day. Let's get right into how you can set yourself up for success by just doing these seven basic things. This is gonna allow you to be like, heck yeah, I'm loving this day. Because if you don't start great, it's gonna be a little harder to keep going great or get great. Let's get right into it. Number one is let's plan the night before. You got something big going on or if you got something small going on, set yourself up for success by prioritizing which things really need to get done and what tasks need to get done, you're kind of setting yourself up with a solid game plan. It will help you wake up with a clear purpose and direction. That's number one before anything. It's not even necessarily a, a morning ritual, right? It's more of like, unless it's like 12 a.m., I guess, then you could consider it the morning. Either way, before we even get into that, that's what you need to do is the night before, figure out what you got to do the next morning, prioritize it and put it in, put a mental note, ka-chunk, that, hey, I have this to get done tomorrow. Everything from minuscule tasks to little things. If you can just do a quick outline in your head, that's what I do that and I live religiously by these freaking reminders in my phone like it's don't forget to take your vitamins or you know uh, don't forget to contact the pet sitter blah 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 with that out of the way let's get into the morning so the second morning ritual that you want to try and implement and this one is kind of a bummer especially if you were like raging the night before or you didn't sleep very well let's try and wake up early yeah Great advice, dude, on the internet. Hear me out. No matter what, you gotta wake up, right? It might not be as easy to wake up a little earlier, but I find when I wake up, like, if I got some, if I have a busy day ahead of me, you wake up that extra hour. Even if it's not even completely necessary, it's gonna be like a buffer for the rest of the day. It just allows you to get the rest of the steps that I'm gonna share with you done. But more importantly, when you're fighting that clock all day long, what's worse than that? Like, oh, dude, I gotta be out of here in three minutes and 42, 40, oh, 38. I gotta get out of here. Dude, it's a nightmare. That's gonna set you up to be a stressed out mess all day. Sacrifice that hour and set yourself up for success. Wake up early. I know, listen, we don't gotta be Jocko. We don't have to be taking pictures of our 4 a.m., you know, go get it in. But listen, setting yourself up, maybe a little extra time, this is the way. A third ritual to try and implement as soon as you open your eyes, Try and slug down a glass of water, bottle of water, just hydrate immediately. It's gonna kickstart your metabolism. It's gonna rehydrate you after a long night of getting those Z's. Hydrate immediately. So we're going, it will give you a boost as far as your metabolism goes. It will give you a boost as far as your mindset goes. And it just gets you that feeling. I like to do a shot of apple cider vinegar in there with it too. Just get a little, ooh, a little bite. I'm not, I'm not opposed to that, but whatever you do, you want to wake up early and you want to go right for that glass of water and start your hydration. Let's go. Our fourth morning ritual to try and get into is mindfulness, some kind of a mindfulness practice. You can meditate, you can close your eyes, you can do whatever you do, you can make sure you're avoiding your phone. Anything you can do to just disconnect for 10, 15 minutes is going to set you up for success. Spend a few minutes, just a few minutes. It's gonna center you, it's gonna relieve anxiety, it will help you map up what you planned before, the night before. It's just gonna set a positive tone for the day. This is such a crucial part to your day. Instead of hopping right into the chaos, okay, you woke up, it's early, you got the water going, maybe the coffee's brewing, all right? Take time to not stare at your phone, to close your eyes, take 10, 15 minutes and practice that mindfulness. I can't stress that enough, whether it's meditation, journaling, sitting quietly, go stare at the wall alone from everybody for 10 minutes, whatever you gotta do to be able to prioritize up here. 
Our next habit to try and implement is to either stretch or exercise. Once again, we are not Jocko necessarily. Let's start at our own scale, right? 10 minutes, 20 minutes, do jumping jacks, push-ups, sit-ups, just stretch, do some cool yoga, downward dogs, anything to like get your blood moving. From ob the obvious benefits aside physically, like mentally, it's gonna boost your endorphins, it's gonna get the blood moving, it's gonna improve your mood, your energy levels. If you live in an apartment complex or if you have a home gym, in my very humble opinion, I think th it's the most convenient thing ever. Like if you, if you can just go to your garage or go to the building that has the gym in it and get it done, be like literally set a timer because you woke up early, don't forget, I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna get it in. You're gonna have that endorphin rush of just being like, let's go, I'm feeling good. Plus you got the music going, your vibe is right. You're ready to take on the world, especially then you get, you hop in the shower, you're feeling fresh. This is the way again. Your fifth morning ritual is just to exercise, stretch, do something to get the blood moving. Our sixth morning ritual is that you wanna either, listen, you can either eat breakfast, have a shake. I like to do the shake thing throw a bunch of good stuff in there, a little protein. I use Greek yogurt, banana, throw it in there, magic bullet. Whoop, 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 whoop. Feeling like an absolute champion. There's some people that like to do um, intermittent fasting. Wherever you're at nutrition wise, you can take or leave this morning ritual. I like to just get something in me besides coffee because if I only have coffee and I drink a whole bunch of it, eventually I'm gonna end up shaky. You're gonna get that crash. Try and eat something or drink something healthy. Consume something healthy. Um, it's gonna fuel your body, provide you energy and help you improve concentration. And then finally, our seventh morning ritual is positive affirmations. I love this one. I'm these days, Johnny Snowball, I am always, I'm not always like some weirdo, but I'm, I'm telling myself good things because guess what? The person that is going to believe in you most of all is yourself. That's the program that we're going for. Hey, you're in your car. Instead of just going right to download the Uplift podcast or Joe Rogan or sports radio or whatever we're listening to, give yourself that positive uplift that you need. Bro, I'm going to crush today. Oh man, I'm feeling fresh. I had a great workout. Man, that shake got me feeling a different level, huh? I ain't no BS. I'm not even kidding as I film this. I remember uh, I was playing with my pup earlier this morning. I was like, damn, man, I'm in a good mood. And it's almost like when you say those things and those positive affirmations out loud, it, you're reminding yourself of your strengths and you're just setting a positive tone for the day. Like, no lie. I'm like, dude, I'm going to crush today. I'm feeling good. When you say that, say it out loud. Ready? I'll give you a chance. Be like, yo, I am feeling good about today. Let's go. Telling you right now, baby, you're gonna be feeling a lot better. So number seven is just practice those positive affirmations. You are your own best hype man. I, I stand behind it, but try and get these rituals uh, into your morning. It will set your day up for success. I might have another video about what to do at night to calm down. Listen, all of this stuff I talk about, you need to make sure and mold it to your own specific way of life and how you do things. But I just, give you guidelines that I do and kind of proven things. Give it a shot. Lately, I've been doing in the solo videos, I've been doing a quote, but I like to read it. The way you start your day determines how well you live your day. Robin Sharma. Don't even know who that is. God bless you. The way you start your day determines how well you live your day. Well, I'm with it. So after watching this video, try and imp implement these things starting tonight by planning your next day. Thank you so much for watching. And remember that your future is bright. Keep up the good work. Praise God often and keep moving forward and upwards. I'm Gabriel Mark. This is Download the Uplift. Thank you for joining me. And remember, this is a place where when we fall, we try and uplift. Thank you so much. You're awesome. Have a blessed one.